before we get to anything, I have some I have something to tell you. Judd Apatow yes. told me um, that, and I want to know if it's true. He told me that it's your fault that people scream my name everywhere I go. Ah, oh, Kelly Clarkson, everywhere I go. I could literally do anything in the, doesn't matter how many hits, what I do in life, I could save a family from drowning, fires, I could do anything. And literally the one thing people know me from is, ah, Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. Yes. So um, is this true? Well, well I'm, I'm terribly sorry, first of all. I owe you, a, I owe you an apology. No, it's um, awesome. It is true. Yes, that is true. It, it was, um, I was a co-producer on, on The Four-Year-Old Virgin. I was also in it, but um, it was, uh, I was a writer mostly by trade at the time. Um, so I was hired to write also like uh, jokes. We call them alt jokes or alternate jokes. Um, and we knew Carell was going to be waxed and he wouldn't be able to think clearly probably. So we wanted to just be able to feed him <laughs> things to say. And we don't always like to only have profanity so uh judd was like you should write a list of jokes that are like uh, dirty jokes like and and a list of clean jokes <laughs> um and it was hard to write the clean jokes um and i honestly think i was sitting on my couch writing the jokes and you came on television <laughs> and i saw you and it was kelly clarkson and in comedy there's a thing with like k sounds like they say like comedy k like they're like a k sound is is known for being funny in in, in the comedy world I didn't know that. and so i saw your name and it was kelly clarkson and there it was and there's an actual i'm in between of burger panties and throbbing monkey tail. Yeah, I like it. How much of that list just has to be completely blurred out? It's not, <laughs> you see, I stuck to the assignment, though. Really, I'm doing one half of Robbie, clean jokes and one half Robbie, dirty jokes. Throbbing <laughs> monkey tail. Yeah, well. That's awesome. That, I thank God people don't scream that at you when you uh, walk around. <laughs> I am just saying, I loved it so much. I did, actually. I literally was coming into a theater. How I first heard it, was in a preview, I was coming into a theater to watch a different movie, and I was with friends, we were late, because, you know, I gotta hit up concessions for some popcorn and M&Ms, and so we came in a little late, and we were like, coming in, and I was like, and everybody was like, and I thought somebody in the theater yelled my name, I didn't know what just happened, because I was like, what? And that's how I found out. They were like, they yelled your name in that trailer, and I was like, why? And then I was like, <laughs> anyway, and it's literally, I can be, I can be in Japan. It doesn't matter where the hell I am, Seth. <laughs> People, since you've been gone, never heard of it. But Kelly nope. Clarkson's name being yelled during a waxing, that's what they know. It's amazing. Yep, I'm still here, just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.